Today's Hen House Market Spotlight is right here in Kansas City with Greg Overson from Boyle's famous corned beef company. Welcome to the show. We're talking corned beef today, of course, probably the only Kansas City company that I know that produces fresh corned beef. That's very true. And this has been going on for many, many years, of course. Almost 80 years here in Kansas City is our home. Wow, talk about famous across menus, restaurants, and grocery stores around the country, I'll tell you. And everybody has a corned beef sandwich or at least a Reuben on their menu today. That is correct. Now this is March, so of course, it's St. Patrick's Day right around the corner. And we're talking thousands of pounds of corned beef produced daily. Oh, absolutely. Corned beef all the time. So tell me a little bit about the process itself of making fresh corned beef. Well, we take, you know, good choice cuts of uh, brisket primarily and uh, hand trimmed. And then it's injected with Bob Boyle's secret recipe. And then it's uh, cured for several days. And then it's packaged and shipped to the stores. We talk about that secret recipe and we don't want any uh, proprietary or anything, you know, that, that you can't give any information about. But that is the same recipe for 80 years. That is true. And uh, I believe one of the secrets to it is they use oleo resins instead of dry spices, which I think is, you know, the most powerful part that you can use. That recipe that Bob put together is uh, extremely flavorful. Sure. You know, corned beef is featured at the Hen House Market. Can you give us some quick recipes or do you just boil the corned beef and eat it like it is? My process at home is I'll just take a retail package of our corned beef and put it in a casserole dish with some water and leave it in the package. In about eight hours, eight to nine hours at 225 degrees, overnight, all day, it works fine. You're not going to believe this. People think I'm crazy. That's the way I cook my corned beef in the package itself. Well, you retain all those good flavors when you do it that way. Everything that's been injected into that meat, it doesn't go into the water itself. It stays in the package. That's correct. It makes sense. Well, you talked about the fresh corned beef and of course the pastrami burn-ins. I can only imagine what's on the horizon for Boyle's corned beef. Another 80 years, of course. Oh, we certainly hope so. Um, over the last few years though, we've developed a line of smoked products doing pulled pork, ribs, uh, more brisket than what we've ever done before. And uh, of course our burn-ins have become very famous. Well, Greg, it's been great touring the, uh, the plant, checking out all the different processes that you have, and of course, tasting some of that delicious boils corned beef produced right here in Kansas City. It's always a pleasure to uh, continue Bob Boyle's legacy and, you know, and, and again, to promote something that he developed 80 years ago. Wow, that's really something else. 80 years, boils corned beef right here in Kansas City.